Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Honda, and I'm the coach for Filipino Virtual Assistance Vietnam. Before anything else, I would like to tell everyone about myself. I am a freelancer, a mother of five, a wife, and as I said a while ago, I am the coach for Filipino Virtual Assistance Vietnam. Today, I am here with two of our apprentices for FVA Vietnam, um, namely Christy Angelo and Boricar Marta. So, um, which one should I call again? It should be Christy, coach. Good evening, coach. Okay. Coach. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Christy. Oh. Hello, Christy. <laughs> I would like to introduce Christy. Hello. Hello, coach. Thank you, and good evening. Good evening, guys. Thank you to all our viewers now. And please don't forget to share this live Vietnam says it all. And then, by the way, my name is Christy Angelo from the Philippines. And I'm one of the apprentices here in FBA Vietnam. And I am the Facebook public group manager by Coach Michelle Honda. And I am inviting you, please join our Freelancer Unite group. Please check our link in the comment section below. And Freelancer Unite group is created to, to share ideas and thoughts uh, about freelancing unites in the freelancing world. So tonight, um, I will inter introduce to you my partner, Maricar. Hello, Maricar. Good evening. How are you? Good. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Coach Christy. Hello. My name is uh, Maricar. Yes, good evening. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Maricar. I'm from BATS 27 Apprenticeship Program of FBA. I'm the Facebook page manager of FBA Vietnam, coaching by uh, Michelle Honda. Our, she is also our coach. You see how gorgeous our coach yes. is and cool. By the way, guys, we would like to invite you to join us and stay tuned for this live session because you will learn a lot. Yes, you heard me right. And just a little favor, please don't forget to like our page, FBA Vietnam uh, Coaching by uh, Michelle Honda. And let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we will try our best to answer your questions and concerns. Keep following us, you will get updates on what's happening on FBA Vietnam. Please keep on sharing. Hi, Christy. Yes, yes, Maricar, thank you. And please forget, uh, please share this FB, if, uh, 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 Facebook Live. And don't forget to like our FB page and group. Our link is in the comment section below. And tonight we will discuss about what is the importance of branding in our business? But before that, uh, we will give some overview about FBA. Maricar, can you tell us more about FBA Vietnam? Yes, Christy. You know what? I could say that I made the right decision in changing my career path. I can take care of my family and work at the same time in the comfort of our home. I don't need to commute and get stressed because of traffic. I can work on my own time without a boss and just need to give the finished support to my client. How about you, Christy? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, for me, uh, I joined a freelancing because uh, I stayed four months in our home and I cannot get out because of the pan pandemic that we are facing right now. And that's the reason why I enrolled in freelancing course and, and I, I saw a post of FBA and I'm so lucky because one of my relatives is, the, uh, is a student before from FBA and I asked her about about FBA and then I found out 
that FBA is the on the owner of FBA is from Davao City, and immediately I enrolled in freelancing course. And you know what, Maricar, I did not regret uh, of the money that I invested here in FBA because the learning you learn. Uh, in this acad academy is very worth it. Right, Maricar? Yes, yes. Definitely, Christy. Okay, here's how the FBA Vietnam start. FBA Vietnam is under FBA Business Consultancy, which was founded in 2015 and was registered in 2016 by Coach Julmar Grace Luxin and her husband, Coach J. Luxin in Davao. And I heard you are from Davao, Chris, uh, Christy. Yes, right. Yes, right. Okay. FBA Business Consultancy has 25,000 students with an over 75% success rate and proudly say that you are one of those students. Now, FBA yes. Business Consultancy has 18 coaches and more than 15 trainers all over the world. Can you imagine that? They have territories all over the Philippines and abroad like China, California, Japan, UAE, KSA. Vietnam, and recently in Italy. And you know what, guys? FBA is also offering an opportunity to become part of the team. If you want to be like Coach Michelle, you are free to apply. Okay, FBA Vietnam in particular was to cater to those overseas Filipino workers or even our other nationalities around the globe. That is FBA is reaching out to them. They have other options. Aside from working from their employers, they can also learn the new trend, working remotely and over the skills they have. Now, let's move on to the mission goals of FBA. Christy, can you tell us, please? Yes, Maricar. Uh, you know what? I love FBA because FBA consultancy is empowering every families. Uh, one freelancer at a time, and they provide also freelancing course, virtual assistance services to business, and franchising opportunities to the FBA family. And you know what, Maricar, can you share a little about what is your job before you became a freelancer? Yes. Uh, Hello, Maricar. Yeah. Yes, Christy. Uh, I want to say that I really love the mission and goals of FBA, and that's why we are here and happy to say that we are continuously helping us in our journey. By the way, my previous job was in procurement. I worked as a buyer in a hotel and casino. I love the job. The salary is okay, but this pandemic uh, made me realize that I want something new, something I can work from home without needing to commute. So I searched for a freelancing job and found the FBA group. I have no experience in freelancing, so I have to find a way. Then I saw the post of Coast Grace, our uh, coach, of offering a freel freelancing course and decided to enroll right away. Now, I'm happy that I learned so many things. Be able to choose what are the niches to focus on for now and glad that is very useful. How about you, Christy? What was your job before and what was your reason why you enrolled in freelancing? Hi, hello. I'm happy to hear that, Maricar. Thank you. And before, I was a real estate agent and I have a small, you know, small online shop. And I enrolled in freelance, uh, freelancing core because, as I said a while ago, that I stayed for four months in our home and I cannot get out. And I, 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 I ser I'm searching for another, you know, opportunities. And I search it, uh, the FBA post. And aside from that, the one of my relatives is a student before and and now she is very uh, very successful being a freelancer good to hear that and aside from yes and aside from that um 
and aside from that, the the money that you are investing, very worth it, right, Maricar? Yes, yes, definitely. Did you agree with me? Yes, I agree. Yes. And, mm -mm. and Maricar, can you share about what is your, you know, uh, what is the the reason behind why you are why you are choosing into freelancer for me i guess uh we are all the same looking for alternative jobs that can still sustain our family's needs without leaving our home especially this pandemic that brought us many realizations and opened a new door of for opportunity having a coach just yes. like coach michelle and coach uh, grace and uh, yes yes that's the way be willing to assist you is a bonus for me i think the fba family are uh, literally doing their goals and mission to not just educate the students but but to help us reach our full potential and we are lucky to be part of fba and thankful Yes, you're right, Maricar. You're right, Maricar. Having a coach on our side is uh, is a very big plus. They're not just mentoring us, but they are equipping. Uh, they are equipping us to in their in the relevant training, so that when we are when we go out in our when we go out in our course, we are ready to assess business owners right maricar yes yes that's correct and aside from that even after you finish the course you still can access the tutorial videos that you have watched during the course and those are very helpful especially when you have a particular task with your client that you might want to watch again it's very helpful we see how generous the fba family is and yes, really. yes very generous very generous okay all right i know our viewers are learning a lot from our stories and experiences so christy let us know let us know discuss what is it about branding why is it important especially when you are building your own business especially for us freelancers what will be the impact to on our prospective client or the audience Christy? Yes, right, Maricar, and I'm yes, Mar yes, Maricar, and I'm so excited to share to our viewers what is the important of branding in our business as a freelancer. So, Maricar, can we start now? Yes, Christy. Let me just uh share my screen. Yes. Hold on. I'm... Hope we don't uh get technical issue tonight yes yes can you see my screen now not yet not yet just one okay 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 got okay. it okay okay brand awareness what is business branding okay Branding is a way of identifying your business. It is how your customers recognize and experience your business. A strong brand is more than just a logo, right? It is reflected in everything from your customer, service style, staff uniforms, business cards, and premises to your marketing materials and advertising your brand should reflect what your business stands for and what sets it apart from your competitors it express the qualities the strengths and the personality of your business or as a uh, in your business or as your being a freelancer a strong brand will help customers to remember 
your business and feel greater confidence that your products or services will suit their needs. Customers tend to be loyal to the brand they trust. So, what are the importance of branding? Next slide. The importance of branding is that brand uh, beyond just a memorable logo. Good and good brand increases the value of a of a company provide employees with direction and motivation and makes acquiring new customers easier a brand represents the the sum of people's perception of a company's customer service reputation advertising and logo and another one is the the importance of branding are the following reasons the first one is improves your recognition in branding it creates trust in branding it supports advertising in branding it inspires employees and also it generates new customers. We, as a freelancers, it is very important as well to have our own brand. Why? Because freelancing branding, it refers to all your overall presentation of your brand as a freelancing professional. It refers to how your client experience your services from the moment of observation to after your services have been rendered or experienced. In freelancing branding, there, there, are, there must be identity. It could be your logo. It could be the colors that, are, that you are using, the, the phone styles, the information, and also the VMG. What is the VMG in your brand? It is the, your vision, your mission, and your goals in your business. And then Maricar, uh, my partner, Maricar, will continue to tackle about what is the importance of keywords in branding also. So, Maricar? Thank yes, hello. Krishy, thank, thank you very much. Can you help me to uh, show the screen to our viewers, please? Can you help me? Okay, well, okay. okay. You get it? Uh, are you sharing now? I, I yes. can still see it. Not yet. How about Coach, Coach Michelle? Did... Okay, I can see it now. Hold well on. Yes. Okay. You can see it right okay. now. Okay. Now, uh, let's proceed to keywords. What is the importance of keywords and branding? Keywords are specific words or phrases that help search engine find a business along with topics, terms, and content that will be relevant to researchers for those items. In short, if a business is to be found, understood, and acted on the right keywords must be built into searchable content, including the business websites, blogs, uh, newsletters and social media material it connects users with what they may be searching for and information that a business provides about its products and services therefore depend it depends on really knowing the target customer 
what they may be interested in, how they may be communicate, and how they ask about topics of interest. Without having the right keywords and content, specifically structured to provide useful information about a given term, users won't be able to find and utilize the information or take appropriate action. For example, if you are a freelancer, your keywords must be your business, your business brand, services or the solutions you're offering to your client. For example, social media manager, um, online jobs, freelancer, just like that. And then aside from keywords, hashtags are important too. It is important on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and etc. These little words that start with hashtag are the way that your audience is going to find your content. You might want to pay attention to trending hashtags. For instance, you're, if you're going to find hashtag for freelancing, hashtag for, for online jobs, remote work, work from home, or any other services you are offering. By using a hashtag, it will ensure that your post won't get lost on the day you use it, but will also help your post be seen by an audience that is likely to find your content. Now, the purpose of branding. The purpose of branding is knowing and consistent, consistently living from a true identity, from a real story, so that executive leadership, uh, sales, marketing, product, support, operations, and corporate culture all align and mature in a compelling manner that is meaningful. Now, what are the advantages of having your own brand? From a true identity. Yes. From it creates wide awareness. Number two, it acquires customers easily. For example, good graphic design can easily catch the attention of a prospective customer. And once they try your product and prove that you are offering quality products and services, they, they keep on coming and make repeat purchases. Next, it increases profi profitability of business. It helps. It helps in facing competition as well. It also enhances business value. Just like business value in the market is a, must, is a must to attract funds. A reputed business has a good image in the market. It also has every investor wants to invest in reputed companies. Branding by developing in a good image helps companies to easily attract funds from investors. For example, FBA, is, uh, it, it is more preferred by uh, clients and freelancers because of the company. It, it, they concentrated on their mission and, their, and then their goals. They uh, keep on connecting with their audience. Now, let's go to the disadvantages of not having your own brand. Of course, you will not be re recognized. You will not be identified. Nobody will know you. And then, let's go to the benefits. Number one, it will give a customer recognition. Next, competitive ads in the market. And then it is an easy introduction of new products. When you are well known, when people uh, know your brand, the quality of your service you are offering, it's easy to uh, introduce a new, a new products. Next, it uh, has customer loyalty and share values. Number five, it enhances credibility and ease of purchases. Meaning having a strong, well-known brand enhances your credibility with customers. Your industry and the marketplace as a whole 
as you build your credibility, you also build recognition, loyalty, and comp competitiveness. Everything goes hand in hand and you'll find that your credibility has a direct connection to customers. Is a purchase. We want to buy from companies we like, know and trust. And if your brand is credible, you're far more likely to get the sale. And after that, who will benefit from it? Of course, the people behind it, the stakeholders of the company. Because the more you get higher sales, the more your company grows. Okay, guys. Hope you learned a lot from our discussion. Hello, Christy. Are you there? Yes. Hello, Marika. Yes. I'm, no. I'm listening. Yes. But thank you for listening. So, now, I want... I want you guys to listen to Christie's uh, motivational quote. Okay. Hello, guys. I think I'm here and uh, this motivational quote. I hope that you will. Uh, I hope that uh, in, uh, in our simple presentation about branding, I hope that you have. You, the I hope that you have some learning here about um <laughs> define what your brand stands for its core values and then communicate consistently in those terms so it means those terms that we are sharing you guys example your identity as a freelancer, don't ever forget that that your logo, your 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 color that you are using in your brand, the font size, the font style, and everything. Uh, I hope that uh, this identity that we are sharing. To you guys, I hope that you will uh, you will apply it in your branding as a freelancer. And that's for tonight, guys. And I hope again, I hope that you learn a lot. And they, uh, they coach I will give the floor to Coach Michelle. Hi, Coach. And hello, hello, Coach. Hello everyone. Um, I'm really proud to say that um, Christy and my car here has come a long way. And actually, I just wanted to add up to everything that they said a while ago that branding is very critical to a business because of the overall impact that it makes on your company or as a freelancer. So Branding can change how people perceive your brand and it can drive new business and increase, increase brand awareness. So I hope that you've learned a lot from our free webinar here. So um, I hope that it's going to help you in your freelancing career or for those people who's been um, in the business, but you know, uh, because they don't have the concept with branding, they, they did, didn't get to succeed because they're lacking on that part. So I hope that uh, you could start with your branding first when, you're, when you establish your freelancing career or your business. So if you have comments or suggestion, please feel free to comment down below or message us through our Facebook page Again, um, please follow us on our Facebook page and join in our Facebook group, Freelancers Unite. So I hope it's down there in the comment below. Um, I know we have a lot of references right now. So I, and if not, I'll be the one who will be directly putting the um, link for our Facebook group or a Facebook page. So I hope that you've learned something from this webinar and I hope, and I will be answering them. We will be answering them rather. 
So thank you, everyone, and have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Coach. Bye-bye. 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 B